working on a uh, another Rayman. It's this time it's an ECR40 TT serial number EZD06. This time it's going to be an AC drive motor. And the problem with this one is intermittent code 5G. So if we look at the code. Code on this truck. If you look at the book. 5G is a no communication received from the traction power amplifier. So if we look at the schematic now. So this is the traction amplifier, right? The traction amplifier gets its power from the relay control panel. From actually it's from K3 right here. But K3 is going to get an enabled signal from the vehicle function controller as well. So what we're going to test right now is we are going to try to see when it codes up because it's intermittent. We're going to be testing at pin number one on the, on the uh, traction amplifier which is the uh, B plus KB line. The power battery voltage is supposed to go in here from that relay control panel, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to test that, see if we get power, battery power, going into that when it codes out. Okay, so my leads are now hooked up. Black lead is going to be on the negative here. And my blue channel on channel number one is hooked up to pin number one on the traction amplifier, which should have battery voltage when you turn the key on. All right, so right now the setup for the uh, oscilloscope, 50 volts on channel A, five milliseconds, doesn't really matter at this point, it could be, oh, wait, let's change it up. Change that to a uh, longer time base, so we can see it on the screen. Let's say five seconds per division. Power on, let's see right. if it coats out. Uh, for sure it's not going to code out. Uh, it's gonna, not going to code out. Turn it on. It's gonna code out, okay. Let's pause this for a while. So the moment it code out, I'll show you again. From service, code 5G. So 5G right now. So we hooked up to pin number one for the traction amplifier, the V plus. And right now we didn't get any voltage going into that pin. So zero. Let's try to do a measurement of what voltage went in there. 800 millivolts, barely, barely one volt. All right, so we know what the problem is. That's why the traction amplifier is not communicating intermittently. It's because it doesn't have any power. Okay, so pin one, now we're gonna transfer it to point uh, to T1. So T1 on the relay card is where it's, it's getting power. Okay, and on the relay card, this guy right here is gonna be our T1. So we're just gonna poke it right on the board right there. And we'll look at the reading. All right, same thing. Actually, it's lower than 10 volts now. So even on the card itself, still getting the same voltage all right so that needs to say I don't have a problem with my wiring right now so my attention is gonna focus now on the relays so if you look if you look at the diagram T1 is connected to K3 right here K3 that's blocked off. 
it's going to get put by the fire there. So once you key on, the coil for K3 is going to have power, it's going to switch over then. And it should have full battery voltage coming from fuse F5. Yes, F5. So let's test out fuse F5. See what voltage we get uh, in and out of F5 right now. Okay, F5 is going to be my fuse right here, right in the middle. So we're just going to test right here. Okay, and right here. So I'm both getting, let me show you what I'm getting on the screen. So right now that's 40. Then we transfer over to the other side of the fuse. Oh, sorry. I'm getting the same reading. Full battery voltage. So we know there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Okay, so in order for us to test the uh, relay K3, I had to uh, adapt some cables into it and put the piercing probe on it. So my red trace is going to be on the common and then my blue trace is going to be on my normally open contact. Okay, so looking at the uh, schematic again for K3, so the common is what's going to supply T1 which goes into our uh, traction amplifier so what I expect to see if everything's working fine is my blue tray should always have battery power right and then the common once the contact or once the uh, relay kicks in it should provide power to that and I should see same battery voltage all right so let's try that right now settings on the oscilloscope 50 volts on channel B and channel A same thing 5 seconds per division okay let's try to run this right now so it's going okay let's try to uh, key on and it's the switch starting up so blue trace is going to be the positive supply Still nothing. See the code? So it's 5G. Alright, so as you can see on the red trace is supposed to be the one that provides power to our um, traction amplifier. It's still zero. And so I know the relay is clicking, so I know that there is power going into the coil of that relay. Let's try to see that. I'm going to take away one of the wires. Let's see this. It's easier to take it out this side. I don't know if you heard that, but that relay was clicking. Try a couple times. See? My hand is blocking the camera. Okay, let's try to do this. So touching it. See? So the relay is getting control. But it's not transferring the voltage. I guess now we've already proven it's a relay. We're gonna just gonna have to put a new relay in this. Or maybe grab it from another truck just for testing purposes right now and see what happens so earlier when I took out the leads for that uh, relay I still had my oscilloscope hooked up and you can see right there that's when I tried to take it off and all of a sudden by touching the actual um, contacts or the coil control see here that it started to make contact again and that's why you know the contacts and the relay is already worn out, starting to fail, and that's why you're seeing an intermittent port 5G. Okay, so got another relay off of another truck. So let's try this. Let's key on to this. There's another switch here. Good enough.
No codes. At least working. Okay, step on the Batman pedal. Just saying the entrance beam is blocked. Alright, since we have an entrance beam on this truck, right there. Let's try it again. There you go. Code is gone. So code 5G, intermittent code 5G because of uh, relay they're starting to fail.